had to be sure that if I could write it, it could be true to my, my mother's tone, the way she um, approached her life, and I hope some of which I've, I've inherited, which is having made a conscious decision not to be miserable about very miserable subject matter, and that even in the darkest of places, there, there is scope for humour and delight and lightness. I knew, as I, when I was growing up in Buckinghamshire, in a very nice leafy green village. Uh, I was aware that my mother was somebody who didn't altogether fit in. Um, she was very opinionated, very vibrant, charming. Um, she was also from somewhere else. I knew that she had emigrated to England from South Africa in 1960. As much as I really knew about her background beyond the bare details of the fact that she was the oldest of eight children, that she'd grown up in and around Johannesburg on these mining compounds where her father had been a gold miner and that her mother had died when she was a couple of years old. And it turned out that that was a very, very small part of a much bigger story uh, to do with her family, primarily her father, who I had known was a slightly ramshackle, alcoholic, uh, itinerant worker who had obviously caused some trouble for his family, the extent of which I hadn't been aware of he actually turned out to have been a convicted murderer and a, an enthusiastic child molester who, when she was in her 20s, my mother had succeeded in, in getting the authorities to arrest, which was no small achievement in 1950 South Africa when the police were not terribly interested in domestic crimes. So she'd had him arrested, she'd managed to get the case pushed all the way through to the High Court in Johannesburg. And it was the failure of that trial which had precipitated her move to England. Your relationship with your parents' history changes when they die. It suddenly becomes your history. And you have to decide if you're going to absorb it or ignore it. So I decided that the best thing to do after her death was to go to South Africa for the first time, to meet all of her family, to interview them, and to try in as much as I could to get the story of what had happened and in a way to measure my mother's achievement because it was clear that something terrible had happened and the person that my father and I had known was incredibly cheerful, very forceful, very funny, full of delight at the world and the life that she led and I wanted to see what the full picture was.